Hello, 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 Aquarius. I tell you something. That devil is running rampant out here, okay? Uh, protect yourself, okay? Wear your crystals. Get your uh, black tourmaline bracelets, your amethyst bracelets. I tell you, man, watch yourself, especially to those who are spiritually inclined, especially to those who are doing light work and all of that stuff. I mean, they, their agents are just, I mean, I don't think they're sleeping. They not sleeping, you know, they are out, honey. Them demoniacs are out. Watch your back. Uh, stay prayed up. I know that you are, you're protected. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing this reading for the Aquarius. Uh, thank you for clear concise messages for the Aquarius all right guys um, if you need to get in contact with me all links are in the description box so let's get to it all right so am I gonna start here this is gonna be a love reading so this is gonna talk about past present future love so maybe that'll cover everything right it'll cover people who are coming here wanting to know about you know a past relationship presently and then you know some people has left the past behind and they're presently you know maybe trying to bring in uh, manifest new love all right so let's see what is going on for the Aquarius uh, in the past in love what was the, what are the messages for Aquarius for the past love all right messages for Aquarius for a now love or just a, the love messages now or presently for the Aquarius and then we have uh, the future future love all right so I'm I'm recording on with this different um, stand so I'm not able to get all of the cards and um, my new stand comes in and then we'll be able to get the entire thing all right so it looks like in love and romance love and romance you have gone through uh, a really uh, deep transformation meaning that there has been ending you're going from one dynamic to the next either single to married or married to single um, you've really ended something and you're starting something else you're let you're letting something die or you have already let something die it is the possibility that some of these relationships, if it is in spirit's will, it will be revived and it will be new and it will be, you guys will deal with each other under a different pretense, under different circumstances, okay? It will not be the same for some of you. Get a personal reading with me, anybody, I don't know, but for you to, to know that, okay? And then for some of you, the relationship is going to stay ended dead it's okay it's done you know uh, light a candle say a prayer and move on okay so in the past we have the high priestess yeah so for some of you you were in some secret relationship or maybe you weren't out front you weren't the out front girl or guy um someone had you in the background uh or you had a secret person there was a decision that needed to be made and it was like the universe was really pulling on you tugging on you to listen to your intuition you know if you'd listen to your intuition it would have you would have bypassed a lot of heartbreak and heartache you were just blowing past red flags like you know you were seeing them and it was just you just were wanting something so much this could also be the level of escapism also knowing something but still continuing knowing that this person is not right knowing they're showing you that they don't have the best you know the best heart where you know at the core of them they're just not a good person this person could even have even said to you i am not a good person and you tried to convince them otherwise uh, and maybe even yourself otherwise um in the past it was good sex between the two of you you thought that you were growing something that it could grow but you knew you were dealing with somebody that there was really no growth or there was no longevity with something about a conversation that you had with this person it really you know illuminated things to you but you still kept going you have to look at the part that you played in this also um with the high priestess in the past and you have to really understand that the relationship didn't get off the ground because it wasn't meant to get off the ground it was supposed to stay right where it was you could have even 
bypass your intuition in terms of when you first met the person something told you no not it but you kept going in presently you're the nine of wands so you have extracted yourself from you know such relationship or relationships but you're still looking back at it especially if you're single so you're still looking back at this relationship and wondering if you should wait give it another chance give them another try have they changed you're still in an energy of looking backwards therefore you're not present in the now and it's going to be hard for you to see your future if you're you've got your head turned okay with the nine of wands here it says that the relationship was already rocky got off to a rocky start was rocky was in and out somebody was non-committal all of the above it was lack of intimacy not sex sex and intimacy intimacy are two different things it was lack of intimacy like this person didn't want you to get close or they wouldn't allow you in their heart space or they wouldn't allow you to you know maybe you didn't meet their parents or you didn't meet loved ones or you met friends but you didn't meet this person or they just wouldn't allow you you know to get closer if you guys were getting close they would withdraw you know that's what the relationship was in the past and you're still concerned about this person that you already know that is probably not the best uh, option for you um something about ego ego bruised okay and that might be why you're still in the fight in the running for this person because you know it bruised your ego for to be rejected for them not to accept you for them for you to know that they rejected you and maybe took another offer or they're rejecting you and they're you know remaining single and you know just frolicking around with anybody you know, so your ego is like, you know, is, is keeping you in this fight here uh, in the near future. Six of swords, good. Very, very good. You know what this card says? It says making sense of moving on. It just makes sense to do it. Pack your shit up and leave. Staying here is it's, uh, it's all about defeat, you know, um, self-sabotaging energy. If you stay here, uh, it's conflicting uh it's manipulation it's mind games if you if you stay here so the six of swords says um releasing the hurt from previous relationships so this is what you'll be doing in the near future very nice you'll be retreating sometimes this is moving on in shame because you didn't get what you wanted you didn't get the person you wanted again they chose something else or somebody else or you know, they just weren't taking to whatever it is you were offering. Um, you're moving on to calmer, still waters. It just makes sense to do so. This could even be, okay, I'm not, I was about to say something about career, but this is a love reading. All right, so. Um, yeah, you're just choosing peace here and to just to pack up and move on. Some of you could be taking the children too, moving on. I don't know, this could even be out of a, a relationship where there are children involved or a marriage you're getting what you need also closure issues in the near future and the closure is not necessarily that you're going to go and have conversation with said individual but the closure can come from maybe you will talk to somebody and they they help you mentally close this out you know, um, this could even be a therapist, tarot card reader, friend, anybody. This could even just be, again, the swords are about mental and words. So this is about making sense of it all. And something will come into you where you make sense of just moving on. It just doesn't um, yield you anything to stay here. Clarify the nine of wands in the present present time. Well, okay um that one did come out fast uh, the temperance card so this looks good um so you want to be your ex's friend no did you start off as friends were they ever your friend or was it always romantic you know you have to ask yourself that we can't be friends when it wasn't you know it never was that we were always lovers you know 
So trying to remain in someone's life under a different capacity is, is, is probably not going to work. It's probably not best, right? Um, the temperance card also says that right now you are trying to get yourself together, get your emotions together, gather yourself. The temperance card talks about getting your life in order, you know? Um, so this is really good. It talks about, um, really finding some balance, emotional balance in a turmoil or tumultuous relationship. It's something that just brought a lot of drama, just brought a lot of, um, childish behavior out of you. You know, you're just making sense of it all. Um, you're really um, processing your emotions, but you're also staying grounded in terms of dealing with this person, dealing with the relationship. It's just more so doing the grieving work, moving on. It's okay to look back, but don't go back, right? Okay, and the uh, Six of Swords in the near future. Six of Swords in the near future. The Seven of Swords. So then as you move on, here we get this person trying to, um, you know, spy on you, see what you're doing. You can feel their energy. They know with the yellow here that you can feel their energy. So they're spying on you, um, asking around about you, looking at social media, if you have it, whatever they can do to try to get some information about you. Um, this person also could be coming up with a plan because the seven swords talks about plan, but it also talks about manipulation, trickery, mastery, magic. So this person could be trying to do all of that in order to get back into your life, trick you, master you by using magic. I don't know, but this person is up to something. They could be running from one dynamic to the next. So running from one person to you, running from one relationship back to you. They're not coming, you know, um, clean and clear and free of no this is you know this is somebody who is running from to and fro mm. um this is somebody who has pseudo power it's not real power they feel like they have power you know yeah they feel like they have power over you and maybe other people because what people do is allow them back in their lives so they feel like they they have the you know the magic stick if you will okay uh, so they feel like they have the power over. Hmm. Let's talk about what this relationship really is. Well, okay. So we'll go here. Who were you dealing with? In the past, who was Aquarius dealing with? What type of relationship was this? In the past, who was Aquarius dealing with? What type of relationship was this? money maybe you were giving this person money this was one that was superficial you know it was one that was um somebody had something to gain okay what type of relationship was this past love so maybe you knew this person in the past life some of you were getting over heartbreak heartache breaking up and then this per this was like a rebound or you were this person's rebound yeah you weren't out there or you weren't putting yourself out there and then eventually you go out there and you, this relationship in the past, when you first met this person, it was supposed to be for the short term to show you what it was you don't deserve, what it is you don't want. And then it was supposed to be that you guys were to break up. It was never to be long term, but somebody, you Aquarius were trying to make it long term or this person was, but they want to be long term, stringing you along, long term, taking your money, long term, lying to you, long term, putting you in third third party relationships you know so that's what their long term looked like yours was like oh well you know we're gonna do something but no um in the future what do we have for aquarius in the future energy for love what do we have for the aquarius Sometimes the universe will send you a test, especially with the short term card coming up, send you a test. Like, is this person ready for true, real love? Oh, must not be because they haven't really put this person out. I think you, some of you had given this person like in your mind, like a time frame to get it right. And then you would cut them off, but you kept going back for some reason. Okay. So in the near future, you got obstacles. The universe put some obstacles in the way of you in a particular person. Okay. You maybe in your your divine masculine, divine feminine person. This card talks about obstacles in the way because you need to fix something about you. 
and the other person has to fix something. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I can't hear myself, but I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Technical difficulties. All right, there we are. Um, yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was stingy, didn't want to give you money. They always would say they didn't have it. They were always looking for you to pay, always looking for you to come out of your pocket. They just didn't give anything to the relationship. They were with you for money. They were using you, using you to buy drugs. Oh, Lord. We go in there tonight, spirit. All right. Yeah, they were using you as a weekend getaway. Like you were just, um, you were hidden. You were, you're like a friends with benefits type of situation. They didn't have you out front. They had somebody else out front. This is somebody who knew that you were valuable, but just didn't want to take to your value. You know, um, they were trying to compare you to other women, other men. Um, they liked something superficial as they are. Okay. Yes, yeah, somebody was promiscuous. They had lots of options in the past. They didn't, and they don't, and they still don't do well with one-on-one -on -one connections. You know, you were coming with your heart thinking that they were giving their heart, but they had all these other people, these other situations behind your back. Okay. Cause they were uh, promiscuous. Could be a female energy. Okay. Could be a man also. Um, you got wind of something. You got knowledge of how, of their promiscuity. Okay. Uh, that's what you were dealing with in the past. All right, let's see what is going on for Aquarius in the near future. Well, in the present right now. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that just, you know, definitely short term. Trying to make, um, you know, a whore, a housewife. So very nice. So this is what you're dealing with right now. You're getting spiritual awareness. You're getting some. Okay, and you're understanding that maybe you were just dealing with the town whore. They get around. Okay, they were whoa. They were a big flirt. Okay, they may have even dealt with some type of abuse in the past. Um, they had childhood issues. They lack of, you know, affection, attention, attention. So they have to get it everywhere. Wow, I didn't even see this card. Yeah, they definitely were dealing with something where, you know, early education early childhood education they didn't get it they didn't learn love or they didn't get love therefore in their adult life they just run around just doing anything with anybody you know seeking love doesn't know what love is doesn't know how to give it and they are materialistic as f and you're coming to realize that you were dealing with this type of person in the present um superficial materialistic as f and now you're coming to a spiritual awareness about them, about this relationship, about how you just needed, you know, they were s such, so different from you. You know, I think that was the attraction also. It would have been a, a win for your ego if they had chosen you. And I think that's what kept you in a fight so long, you know, just wanting to be the chosen one. Especially some of you had invested a lot. If you invest a lot early on, it's going to be hard to let go. When you meet someone, make your investment very low, you know, low risk. You know, if you want to show them that you like them or take them out or court them, do things that you both can enjoy, like take them to dinner. Because guess what? You have to eat. So you will be enjoying the dinner you know alongside of them and if things don't work out they can't regurgitate their dinner put it on the plate and eat it again if they do that you don't want to be with that person anyway so do things that just don't it's low investment you know you're not coming out of your pocket to the point where now you're crazy or you're acting crazy when this person isn't calling you back or doesn't want to be around you or with you Make your initial investment very low until people prove to you that you can trust them with firstly your heart and your emotions and then secondly your wallet. Your wallet. You do work hard for your money. You don't need to cast your pearls, your valuable things to the swine, to people who won't even notice that this is a valuable thing or that you're spending valuable time. Okay? Swine, pigs, you can throw pearls at pigs. They might just, they might eat it. They might, you know, stomp it in the mud. This is what these type of people will do when you keep 
throwing yourself and throwing your resources and throwing whatever you have is valuable at them they will not respect it also you got to keep in mind if you're dealing with a narcissistic energy what they will do is look at it from a standpoint of wow i didn't even have to do anything to gain this person's trust um for them to do all of this for me hmm it must not be as special as they're putting on maybe they do this with each and every person so you'll get people who view you like that also so just keep in mind when you meet people make the initial investment very low so that it's it's easy to walk away you know it's easy to walk away i know you know in past relationships if i bought anything especially when i knew that like okay this relationship has been a little rocky i just didn't make the investment great not like i would on myself like i would spend on myself so keep that in mind like maybe you you like nice shoes and you you buy expensive shoes don't go buy this person expensive shoes until they earn that right and some of you already know this some of you this will just be a reminder to you okay um so there yeah uh in the near future what do we have for aquarius sorry i got on my soapbox i hope that it helps someone though okay so you got some people this person is going to be jealous of you there's somebody jealous of you big time jealous that you're moving on and they're lying to everyone just telling lies about you this is such this is so you know nasty because you don't want to be with them you will not tolerate their energy you will not tolerate what they have to offer this could even be other people outside of love relations outside of your love relationships this could be just a friend or somebody that just they're jealous of you and they're lying to people about you you know it's one thing to tell lies but you know i always say if if um if i started telling the truth about people maybe they shut up telling lies about me but i'm one who just keeps it quiet and just lives life you know it is what it is let them let them lie um but yeah, it's, it's like somebody is definitely going to be lying on you, about you, to you, um, trying to get you back. Uh, Seven of Swords, you are going to be the subject of gossip. This person doesn't like the fact that you left or you're leaving or you found someone else or that you're dating or that you may be dating somebody who could eventually become your husband or your wife. This person is just mad because you won't give them the time of day anymore can we clarify what's going on here in the near future can we clarify for aquarius what's going on for them in the near future okay one more shuffle all right let's see what do, what do we have for aquarius in the near future we have for aquarius okay um yeah so somebody could be you know once again just saying things to rile you up to get you stirred up i made you fall in love with me because it was it was fun sorry but not sorry they want you to take a risk on them you you in the near future you got some jealous people okay because you're a super independent lady and they want to just apologize to you but um they're mean okay and this could be a group of people they see you just shining out here aquarius and you might be getting that divine relationship and they're just you're just mad as hell like they just they feel like you're undeserving of it okay this these people this person they just can't get over you they need help that's what they need you get somebody who is doing black magic to try to get you to come back they're just bad all together trying to put curses and you know spells out there wear your black tourmaline if you, if you get it from me or somewhere else get a black tourmaline br uh, bracelet with me you also get to ask uh, one question I, uh, we'll pull a question i will pull some cards for you you purchase one of the bracelets you get to also ask a question um in the near future you may have to chastise some unruly ass children okay um you may have given them too much they're gonna make you mad with this red you know um neglectful parenting someone may even be lying that you you uh your kids are unruly and you you're you neglect your children physically abusive um not physically attracted to my partner so um somebody could somebody around you maybe this ex is going through this okay and they're lying on you this is a this is a very nasty energy okay um you may find out that somebody has 
going through physical abuse or is going through that or you you may have gone through that this may be a part of your story you may even be getting that information out to people helping people move forward and past all of this uh, type of energy also um somebody is not attracted to their partner so they're trying to come back and sway you and woo you but they have a partner so keep that in mind uh, last card for the near future the near future is a mess all because you're getting what you deserve Aquarius a new love you're putting yourself out there you look good you smell good you're dressing well and the people from the past are absolutely mad um, close off to love you're close off to loving this particular energy or people here I people want to fight you because you just won't give them the time of day Back to friendship, in love with my friend. Who, whoever is coming into your life, Aquarius, they really. So this is going to be marriage because in the Two of Cups, and I think we had the Two of Cups come out. It talks about friendship and love, which equal marriage. You know, so whomever this is, it's going to be like um, more than just. You know how you meet somebody, and you think they're sexy and they look good and they dress well, and you know, but once you start talking to them. You may kind of pick up on some red flags that maybe they're just not the greatest person in the you know on the inside blah 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 you you, you get it you get it about them you, they may be even be superficial materialistic you get it right um but you still engage with them you don't view them as a friend they don't have friendship qualities but maybe you just view them as like you know they look good it's fun blah 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 whatever but this new person you guys are going to be able to talk to each other and you're going to find more than a sexual partner because I feel like you're going to be attracted to them too, but you're going to find a friend in them. This is going to be absolutely beautiful, like a, a real friend. Like when good things happen to you, you want to call them or before you make some major decision, you call and you go over it with them. And um, if you need help doing something around the house or this and that, you can call your friend if you want to just go take a walk if you want to do some simple shit you can call this person because they are more than just um what you've had in the past someone who was using you someone who just wanted sex someone who's this who was that this is a friend like in every encounter being around them it, it doesn't even have to be that you will have sex with them that's not the end goal though you know the sex may be bomb and that's what y'all do but that's not the end goal you know th this is like sunday morning brunch like we can just go to brunch i can look a freaking mess i don't have to dress up and be on and on point for this person because this is my friend like this is going to be an absolutely beautiful love this person is really going to accept you for who you are i'm so happy for you aquarius i'm so happy that you're getting what you deserve um wow they're gonna have you as a spoiled wife very nice yeah this is so good do we want to tell Aquarius anything more about um the near future anything else for the near future for Aquarius do we want to tell Aquarius okay wow it, I love lying in your arms like this is gonna be like this is gonna be a real love to the point where you may even start questioning are you deserving of this real love do know that you are what you are also in need of and deserving of are new friends new real friends because these people are going to be so jealous of you yeah um let's see what these cards have to offer the aquarius for the past it's the island wellness cards island time wellness cards outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head that's what you could be doing in terms of the past or this past person is thinking about you you know some outdated thinking they think you're still up for you know fun times and slide through and let me slide through and you know um you know what it is girl you know i love you mm -hmm. they think but it's outdated for you 
in the past. Yeah, it was a karmic relationship in the past. That's what the cards want you to know. There were triggers, turmoil. I'd use that word. So funny that I did. It was just a car. It was karmic. So that means it was testing. It was a, a trial. You were supposed to learn something and then move on. Um, yeah, not enough. That's what they gave. Not enough. They kept you frustrated in this relationship. For them, it was a game. You know, it's like if you give, if, like when you go feed the birds in the park, give them a little bit of bread, you know, and they'll be back the next day because people are feeding them, you know. But if you just, if you dumped um, a Mack truck full of bread out there at the park with the birds, um, they wouldn't need you. You know, it would be more than enough. You know, they would have abundance. Um, and that's how this person looked at the relationship. Like if I just give Aquarius just enough, they'll always be coming back or they'll always be waiting for me. You know, it's like a, you know, stringing you along, stringing, you just stringing you on, you know, they didn't want to give you the true abundant love that they should have been giving you that you were giving them because they, they in turn, in turn really feel like they ain't worth shit that they don't have much to offer. So they really didn't want you to see that. They felt like they had to play games with you. Let's see what um, the Island Wellness has for you. Island Time Wellness for the uh, current energy. Healing heart, very nice. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship and addiction. Very nice, so, so proud of you Aquarius. All right, hammer. So rebuilding, persistent, working on it, being repetitive, um, interrogation. So some of you may even have a talk, get the information that you need to move on. We saw that, you know, you may start to realize that you were dealing with a real nasty karmic person, that they were promiscuous, that they were a liar, that they were a cheat, you know, all of that. And engagement ring. Okay, it, it wanted to slip out. All right, so that's what I was getting for near future. So um, partnership, union, eternity, commitment. Oh, God. All right, Aquarius. Very nice. Heart with a key. Welcoming new love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. I'm so happy for you, Aquarius. Um, coffin. Very nice. Endings bring new beginnings, and that's what you allow us. We talked about that when the reading first started. Go back to the, the beginning. We talked about endings and new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation, transition. This is so, and look, this person is going to be chasing you, the chaser, telling lies on you, spreading rumors, just trying to get any type of, you know, energetic, um, any kind of energetic uh, re response from you. Like, if I say this, if I do that, Maybe the Aquarius will come back to me. Like I tell her family or tell his family that um, uh, he, uh, uh, he came in my house and stole my, my big screen TV. You know, just outrageous stuff. Then, you know, the Aquarius will then in turn uh, call me, text me and say, why did you tell my family that? You know what? When these people do that, when they make these outrageous lies up about you, say nothing, Aquarius. If you want to say something to the people who bring it to you, especially these friends, these ain't friends because you already see that you need new friends. But say something to them if you want to, but don't say anything to the source of the of the foolishness of the lies. They don't deserve it. I'm telling you, Aquarius, in the near future, you're gonna be meeting the one. You're gonna be meeting your twin flame, your better half. According to Greek mythology, humans were born with four arms, four legs, and two and one head with two faces. Uh, Zeus fearing their power split them in, into two beings you know condemning them to finding their other half so, so you want to find your other half Aquarius this is beautiful what else do we have for Aquarius okay all you need to do is believe in yourself Aquarius this is so beautiful that you can let this go is not going to yield you anything you're going to get more heartbreak more frustration if you stay here with this person do know that they're going to show their true colors when you actually really do move on um don't allow don't be moved and don't be afraid to lose someone who doesn't want you they don't want you like that they just want access to you and to your wallet for some of you this is what's happening in the near future travel with the boyfriend or with the girlfriend this is so beautiful y'all gonna be going places and doing stuff and this is why this person gonna be acting a whole donkey like 
oh my god the aquarius has somebody how can i sabotage it how, maybe i can call them i can get their person's phone number and start to text and call them don't let this person know who you dating don't post them on social media don't tell people the right name if you know that these people are still in cahoots with your ex tell them a false name his name is john dear it says Aquarius, follow your heart's desire and manifest the heck out of your life. You got nothing but good cards, Aquarius. This is so beautiful. Aquarius, let's see what we have for the Enchanted Map Oracle. I love this deck because it gives you a map of what you should be focused on moving forward. What card do we have for Aquarius? What do we want to tell Aquarius? These readings have been long lately. I guess you guys have been needing this. You know, I'm um, going to see. I want to tell Aquarius. Woo, you dealing with a plum fool. That's what I heard. Listening. Oh, I love it. Unexpected visitors. Here come that motherfucker. He about to turn up. Wow. And when he turn up, you just turn all the way down. Get real perfect. How, how may I help you? Okay, well, um what i can do for you is possibly give you a call back um yeah so what i'll do is um maybe i'll text you maybe i'll call you back so yeah thank you take care look i got a funny story i told my ex that one time this was years ago years ago um i got real professional he was like call my phone live it and i was like okay well take care he was like no 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 you take care <laughs> and my and my uh cousin was with me and she heard it she was like oh my god he has lost his shit especially if you knew who he was yeah it was it, it was so funny but yes when you switch up the roles on these people when you're no longer engaging when in the argument in the fight when you really you know start to deal with them in the most mature manner they don't know how to deal with it and they don't know this new you so aquarius show them the new you all right so we're gonna go through 41 really quickly and that is the um unexpected visitors and that's gonna be that person i'm um, showing up detours and surprises yep unexpected um you, it's gonna look like it's a uh, you know inconvenient for you but it might be a surprise turn of events um life is full of surprises so stay on your toes and enjoy the exciting new adventure you this this reads as if you're gonna meet this new person and that old person gonna start showing up and showing out i mean really acting like a fool i mean really trying to get your person's phone number so that they can have conversation with them and talk crazy about you and tell nothing but absolute lies about you i mean they're gonna put on an oscar award winning performance about how you ain't shit and uh you know they really are really gonna try to throw monkey wrenches in what you got going on aquarius the 41 reduces to a five so they want to cause discord dissension they want to cause drama you know so this is what these unexpected visitors are this could even be family members or friends friends um just know it's coming aquarius all right and then we have 53 listening I don't, for some reason, I like this card. I I don't know all the meanings to these cards, so I have to use the book. I'm trying to use the cards more so I can learn the meeting the meanings. So an open heart will hear the message. This is a time for um. So this card is coming up because this is a a time to speak and a time to be silent. Okay. Um. This is an so an occasion is going to come up to where you need to listen. And pay attention to what is being spoken to you but also to what is not being said at the moment so especially if you have this unexpected visitor show up or you have somebody wanting to have a conversation with you listen to read between the lines and fill in the blanks because this person is definitely going to lie by omission because we do have somebody here who can't get over you they have a partner that they're not attracted to Keep that in mind. They have a partner that they're not attracted to. Don't get too gun ho on the fact that they're attracted to you, but stick to the part that they have a partner that they're not attracted to. So what you need to do 
is tell this person to get rid of your partner and then maybe come back, maybe come back. But it's a strong maybe and almost leaning towards a no. So anyhow, um, listen to your heart and not, you know, it says listen with your heart and not with your ears. And you're going to find clarity. Okay, Aquarius, when you receive this card, it's a fortunate sign and it ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. This is very good. So some of you have been just maybe reading into and you, you need to uh, read between the lines. So you've been putting, you know, um, meanings where they don't belong, misunderstandings, um, miscommunication. Uh, therefore, then you get a, a mashup, you get a mix up. So for some of you, it's just about listening, being very quiet and still with someone who wasn't as intimate about their dealings, wasn't as forthcoming about their dealings in the past. Somebody who's wanting you to deal with them with compassion. All you can do is offer a listening ear. You don't have to say yes. You don't have to say no. Again, you know, um, switch it up. Be professional. Keep it real straight you know, real straight line, you know, people don't know how to deal with that, especially when they're expecting you to be riled up just like them. But when you come with the calmness and the maturity, you gonna really see that devil rear its ugly head. And as we talked about when I first came on the reading, I'm telling you, he is running rampant out here in these streets because a lot of people definitely Aquarius, because we're in the age of Aquarius. A lot of people are waking up to, you know, who they are, their spirituality, spiritual awareness came out for you. So that devil is trying to um, f cause interference, revert you, take you back to the old you. And spirit is trying to pull you into something new, something greater. So it's like your your soul, your energy is at, is at a tug of war. And it's like, who, what is going to win? And also don't rest in duality where you, you do one thing on Monday and you do another thing on Friday. No, choose a side, you know spirit doesn't like the lukewarm you either good or you either all good or you're all bad you're not good on monday and then you're doing bad shit on friday choose a side pick a side okay aquarius so that means that you can't go back to this person having sex engaging with this person and then on friday you're talking about you want new love which one is it because spirit is going to be all the way out of that because the god of the universe doesn't operate in confusion so, and that's confusion. So get real straight and clear on what it is you want right now so they can come into you and don't have nobody playing in your energy and allowing people to come back and mess up what you got going on because all it does is take you back to square one. Don't think you can play games with this energy thing, with this life thing. It's either you get the lesson, you learn it and you move to the next step or you don't. Don't play games with it. Don't think you can, you found a cheat code. You didn't. You're only hindering yourself and your spiritual growth. Don't do it because you're so much greater than that. We see that in the cards. We see the universe trying to take you to where you should really be. We see the universe trying to take you to a divine partner. But if you keep allowing people to come back or you keep dealing with people who you know are short term they don't have much to offer they got all kind of uh demon spirits on them demoniacs um they just loose they're crazy all of that what do you, you you can't play both sides you you had the control card it talks about repressing your energy cut it off you shouldn't be having sex at this time especially if those of you out there who are saying you want new love you can't say I want new love, but you just had sex with somebody last night. I don't, you could argue with me down in the comment section. I don't care. Let's go. You can't. You can't. I'll say it again. You can't. Just stop. And that's for some of you. And for some of you, this doesn't even apply. So you'd like, I can let that fly because that don't even apply to me. But if it does apply to you, this is not me talking at you but it's me talking with you i want you to grow i want you to move forward don't keep coming to these tarot card readers to get the tea and the business you already know the business and the tea of your life it's your life you should be coming here to grow 
that's what I got for you Aquarius if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below catch me live every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time again protection protection get your black tourmaline bracelets your amethyst bracelets um, at the website they're linked below you also get to ask a question of me via the tarot cards come learn the tarot with me um, classes are linked below come join the channel where you get to ask a question or two depending on which level you join at each and every month and you get access to all the extended readings thank you Aquarius many blessings to you take care hi guys I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, is here for you. Thank you. Take care.